It is such an honor and a privilege to be interviewing Marina Jacoby today. Marina, you've channeled the Harmonic Reactor, Nanotechnology, you're the founder of EnergyPhilanthropy.com, which I want to get into. Uh, but to start, do you want to do a little introduction of yourself for us? Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm really, really from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for what you're doing for In the Name of Humanity. It's a uh, uh, a way how we can express everything and how we can uh, help each other out um, because uh, the planet and everything in consciousness is moving to a new level of understanding. So thank you for being part of that and thank you for having me. It's a true honor. It really yes, is. Thank you. I want to start with asking, are we talking to Marina? Are you openly channeling at the moment? I always have opening channeling, so you can ask me something and I instantaneously know what to say. Could be in the form of thought or could be in the form of uh, knowingness. Uh, they taught me how to do that. Uh, and um, because this is how they taught, um, they, uh, taught me to do the not only the energy philanthropy, but the quantum manifestation protocol, how you construct and deconstruct realities and timelines. I can't wait to get into that. Yes. Who are you channeling? Um, I usually connect it with the uh, Pleiadians because I know it's coming from Pleiadian structure, my soul, uh, which is uh, you exist everywhere in the universe and uh, at the same time. But when you have to um, tune in into timelines that they are collectively uh, connected to each other through the magma, uh, it's um, collectively with the... Um, Pleiadians, but I was part of Consciousness of Ra. Um, also, the Council of Nine is working very closely. Uh, the harmonic reactor in the nano was downloaded from the Pleiadians and Council of Nine Rhetorians, which is a new consciousness, were helping me with the quantum manifestation protocol. And obviously, being so intuitive, do your feelings play a part in your ability to access this information? Uh, yes, because I know that I was trained uh, like a little child. I um, was missing like six hours when I was 11 or eight years old. I think it was not eight years old. I was with my grandparents. Nobody can find me. I have no recollection what I was. Uh, the only thing I remember that I was staying in front of a tent uh, next to the peninsula in um Later on, I had a very big psychic telling me that um, I was taken on board. I, they confirmed my guidance, but they never, ever told me what really happened. They just told me that it was activation. 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 That's a word I want to hear more about. What is activation? Activation means uh, basically if you had an agreement through consciousness to come in and do something in the name of humanity, are you coming from a Pleiadian structure? Could be from a Turian, you know, timeline. Your soul is creating a platform, holographic imprint, which I will talk about it if you wish me to, mm. that is uh, co-creating a simultaneously running timeline reality uh, that you project in your consciousness into. And you're creating a 3D printing reality like a matrix uh, that you're interacting, but at the same time, you're the main character and you are the, project, uh, the projector of this reality. So when this happens, you're starting to experience ascension process into that particular timeline of reality, also fractally, moment to moment, because uh, consciousness chose to experience ascension through uh, the planet Earth. And when you tune in through agreements, you start doing something, but before you come, you have almost like a script uh, where are you going? Who is going to be born? Where are you going to be born? Who are the parents? Uh, and what are your mission? And throughout that, you start uh, by fractally, when you have the agreements, somebody to prepare you, contact you, not only to prepare consciously, because you have to start connecting consciously uh, to the level with them. So simultaneously, you're running the two platforms to be able to download information, but also your body energetic field is fundamental to be in the molecular spinning structure to be able to conduct the energetic field to handle it. So that's why we talk about and they taught us about detox. And detox came from the hybrids, 
which uh, look like the gray, and they were the first one to contact me to teach me about detox, to teach me about the government structures. Mm -hmm. So I get into learning what really happened to humanity. And after they show me the manipulation that was happening, they told me, okay, now you know what is going on. It's time for you to learn how to create reality. And this is how the download started for quantum manifestation series. Then before that, I had the Pleiadians that, that told me how to, uh, everything about nanotechnology and the harmonic reactor, which is harmonic reactor is actually how you build the platforms for teleportation. And uh, a lot of people said that we went to the future, we saw what the future, I just want to say that the future will be based on a vibratory rate of your consciousness molecular structure that you can tune in particularly in a specific timeline, accordingly to your consciousness. Some people may see something completely different. If your resonance of your body consciousness, uh, which is one unit, your thoughts, emotions, and deeds create a magnetic and gravitational field, and they're projecting a holographic imprint. Uh, if you're running on specific frequency, whatever timeline you're going to see, so-called future, which is running at the now, uh, is basically based on the vibration that your consciousness and body is running on. So you will never be able to teleport uh, consciously or create a reality that your body consciousness cannot resonate because the frequency of the resonance uh, does not match. So we're talking about completely different timeline and it's a blockage. It's almost like a portals, but you can't go through that portal because it's a frequency energetic field resonance that will not allow you to pass through. And this is how we can create from a nanotechnology ether technology, which is above what we have here. It's based only on frequency, sound vibration, and it's mimicking completely. Consciousness itself is like a, almost like an artificial intelligence, but think of it not as something's negative, think of it as vibration sequences that create sonic and the reason why you have this imprint of moment to moment of the same, the way Greg Braden talked about it, is because they told me is because when you create a sonic vibration through the sound, emotion, thoughts, and deeds, it becomes elastic. It started to imprint and imprint fractally and mimic itself because consciousness is mirror image on the thoughts, emotions, and deeds. Because consciousness is created from vibration, sound frequencies, that are combining to a similar vibration by trinity with each other and creates plasmatic and gravitational field. And in the middle, you have the black hole. But in the black hole is the stillness, the zero point is the way I talk in a quantum manifestation protocol. Because in a stillness, you're shifting from one timeline reality parallel to another. That is the unity structure. Then is no input output of different realities. You just stillness, you understand, and you switch realities and timelines. So when you have this structure in a certain frequency, and uh, consciousness is basically everything around you based by these frequencies, when they lower the vibration by the unity trinity, becomes matter. So when you put your body on the electronic microscope, you see um, vibration, you see light, you don't see molecules. So basically, you're conducting the quantum field, uh, field basically depending on the vibrational sequence that your consciousness is projecting in one momentum. In actuality, you run in that platform like a sonic through every single reality, moment to moment to moment, and it's like an imprint, it's like a book. And every page is a new platform of Earth. You project everything from thoughts, emotions, and deeds, and you shift into a new one. But you're not changing the people. You're actually imprinting them in a new holographic imprint, another version of them. So when consciousness is uh, standing still by one molecule, and this molecule, that's what consciousness is, is mm -hmm. one molecule. That molecule is expanding to the infinite and collapsing to the infinite. So imagine that... When the molecule is moving so quickly, it's moving so quickly that it's imprinting itself next to itself to infinite. So every time you pull back, you see all these molecules, but in the meantime, it's the same one because the speed is so quickly. 
So when that molecule is stopped projecting and moving, the way you look at me now, you actually see yourself in another version of you from the same molecule that is reprojecting as a mirror image in your holographic imprint. So you're talking to yourself ultimately in another version. So when you go and do something for people, know that you do it for yourself because reality is a mirror image of everything you do, think, and uh, project. Thinking of it that way is a total game changer entirely in mm -hmm. how we've been raised, how you know our society is built, etc. Mm -hmm. I want to break it down a little bit because mm -hmm. I find it all fascinating, but I mm -hmm. want to know each component and how how it works and then bring it back together. Um, one thing I've noticed as a psychotherapist when you when you go through your training, you hear emotional states become personality traits. Fine, I can wrap my head around that. Well, I've expanded that to uh, to also encompass emotional states become personality traits, become vibratory rates, which you mentioned, become timeline fates. So how exactly does that happen? Well, um, the way they were explaining to me, the way they were teaching me that since you project, since you're the one particle, and when you project yourself in a quantum field, the, they told me that the frequencies, when they create a particle, at the moment there's a thought coming from the frequency, expands and projects into hologram around you. Uh, when you understand that your emotion is also measured by frequency, uh, becomes also um, like a sonic imprint, and it's also vibration of geometry. So if you know that and you combine this with the thought, the thought becomes like a blueprint, almost like you have a blueprint of something. Mm -hmm. And when you include at the same time, this is how they taught me, the emotion, basically those two structures of the blueprint and the emotion frequency becomes one unit and becomes a geometric pattern hologram that you end up putting there. The goal here is to make this holographic imprint now becomes a life structure. Imagine everything is a frequency and sound geometry and you see this moving like structure, whatever you imagine, but it's starting to move, starting to pulsate. But they said, if you pro keep projecting at that momentum through your emotion, the frequency towards the blueprint becomes more potent, more vibratory and more vibratory and started to really vibrate so quickly because you go it to expand it to matter. So everything that you see, basically inflating the balloon until it pops to expansion. But you cannot make that into matter and reality if you do not have the frequency to such a potency for expansion. That's why you have to go take an action moment to moment to moment relentlessly until you pop up the balloon. You need that reality to be really so potent in a frequency vibration and the vibration when it's connected from your emotion with the um, the emotion of love, generosity, and gratitude. The gratitude is the zero point you're neutralizing everything. That is fundamental. This is the second video of Quantum Manifestation Season 1, mobilizing structures. And when you include that, they become so potent, and you need to increase that emotion, increase that emotion. That's how they taught me, to the point that you get to goosebumps and tears. Then you need to hold it, hold it. But the holding is like hold the emotion with the same time projecting in that blueprint, uh, the frequency to become more potent and more potent and more potent. So when you reach the summit of that emotion to the point it's joy and bliss, you need to hold it, hold it, hold it until eventually pops. And the way they said it, hold, hold, hold. They made me hold it like almost like a minute. And then they said, now drop it. Now you have the blueprint. The next momentum is, you know you have it, but now you have to crystallize it into matter because it's already in a frequency. So according to the frequency that I've reached, moment to moment to moment, you have to take the action. So something that you saw there to create into matter, like almost you're playing like hide and seek game. You know you have it, but now you're gonna find it. This is how consciousness is, is not what you see, it's what you project and create 
according to that vibrational sequence, that's what you're shifting the next momentum into because that is the new hologram. But even if you don't see it right away, you have to be relentless because the journey to get to that momentum is actually what you're here to learn for. That is fundamental because maybe you need to meet that person or the other person to give you everything to get to that point. If you, for example, seeing each other that you want to be from a lot of, in front of a lot of people and everybody to know what you're talking about, you're not going to see yourself creating the reality by you being in one room and all of a sudden you're speaking in front of millions of people. Well, what happened? How you get there? If this is the case, then why are we here? So we're here to learn, but also we're here right now to put the vibratory rate of the planet Earth to get to a certain level because it takes on uh, also the humans. And we need to raise our frequency vibration to consciousness to such a level to create a new timeline of reality hologram, brand new Earth that we're shifting into. You're not changing the old Earth you're actually creating a new holographic imprint from your consciousness with your thoughts, emotions, and deeds, and you're shifting yourself to the brand new Earth, a 5D area, and that location will be based on how you implemented that and how you created it. So we're basically creating a new Earth, and you're leaving the old structure behind. You're shifting to different timelines. You're not changing anybody because there's nobody outside of you. Anything you do moment to moment is a projection in another version of you. And you're imprinting everything brand new in a new art. How is that going to be? Then imagine, create that blueprint. What is the uh, new art? Do you have extraterrestrial? Do you have interstellar traveling? Is that exciting to you? Then be happy, create that reality. And then after that momentum, when you're so happy and you're so joyful, moment to moment, take the action the way you guys are doing right now in the name of humanity. That what is going to be the vibration to create the ultimate outcome for your 5D structure. Because we're here to create. We're here to expand. We have the quantum manifestation protocol. We have the alchemy of creation. Now, when they gave us the proper protocol how to create new realities, then you're free. And then create whatever you wish to create. That's why they said you're free. Because we had grids around the planet that were implemented, which were uh, disabled. And now the new grid was put in order humans to get to the new frequency location. So you're not any longer being trapped. The way Star Wars was, if you guys remember, they had a grid around the planet. That grid was down, the negative grid. It was based on frequency sound. That ether technology I'm talking about. Is feeling healing? Absolutely healing. Uh, feeling is healing. Um, if you know how to implement it. If we have to take that the way they taught us uh, from the quantum structure, uh, since we creating and shifting uh, parallel reality to parallel reality, every quantum momentum, every moment, even if I move my hand from here to here, I reprinted everybody in it and I shifted myself to a brand new hologram of Earth by reprinting everything I see in it. Collecting and the same frequency vibration similar and I'm taking it back into my consciousness and projecting the same momentum, mimicking of the previous vibration. So I'm grabbing frequency vibration, memory from this reality and I'm shifting and reprinting it to the next new earth that I'm creating and shifting myself into. What they told me that we can have an instantaneous healing by understanding the fact that every moment to moment you're shifting yourself from a brand uh, to a brand new reality or the true imprinting yourself into. So if you had a situation years ago or even two seconds ago, understand that the new momentum that you're creating and you're shifting you into brand new uh, parallel reality is completely different. So why would you be upset of what happened two minutes ago or 10 years ago? Why would you talking about it uh, when it has nothing to do in a new hologram, you're in a brand new earth and a brand new imprint. So when this is the case, you can choose to switch your emotion, thoughts and deeds to a brand new feeling because that is creating the new resonance and then start taking actions 
by giving a gratitude to what happened to you before because you've learned something and take an action for the positive. And that's what is going to start switching the vibrational sequence to make that holographic imprint, um, uh, which to create a new matrix to be a permanent outcome. And you can study this in video number three, one, two, and three, in season one. All that is quantum protocol of manifestation. And I'm in front of a whiteboard, so you can really see it. It's all in the name of humanity, you know, through energy philanthropy. Uh, so um, when you do stuff like this, it becomes instantaneous healings. But what we need to switch is the understanding of uh, how we perceive reality. Once you understand that, you become a master alchemy creator and you um, reprinting, creating a brand new world, brand new realities. Uh, the goal is to stay steady on that understanding in order your parallel reality to parallel reality to become a permanent timeline of an outcome. And this is only in the quantum manifestation series. So what you're telling me is I'm my feelings are actually feeding the field. That's right. And that is, I've heard you use the words, that is um, making the blueprint vibrate. Yes. Can you explain to me exactly how that works? If right now you had some situation that really bothered you, um, the only thing you need to do, and this is how I'm quoting the way I was taught, is to imagine and understand that you are living in a holographic matrix at the moment and that everybody you see, it's a imprint in your hologram, another version of you, but it's also showing you location, latitude, altitude, where you are in a quantum structure. But now you say, well, thank you for showing me where I'm at. I know that this hologram experience is projecting towards me frequency vibration that is not resonating with my consciousness. So you need to teach yourself physically to implement that on a daily basis. So when you know that, you what you're doing, you, the gratitude is neutralizing the frequency that is coming in the hologram. So when you understand that, when you neutralize it, you, what you're doing, think of quantum and computers, you shut in the program. Once you shut the program frequency geometry, you want to reproduce a new one, but it's reproducing from your emotion, thoughts, and deeds, understanding, because that will create now new frequency vibration potency that you're going to start projecting. And then through that vibration measurement, the new hologram that you're going to create and shift into will be based on that new resonance. And this is how all of a sudden when you go on and on and on with the same steady vibration, the outcome eventually, if not at the moment, will be positive. The only thing you need to do is to make sure that you stay steady on that emotion, thoughts, and deeds because you want a positive outcome. How long is it going to take? You don't know that. Because you're learning a lesson, you're learning the forgiveness, could take a week, could take two weeks, could take a, a year, depends on the situation. Don't put time because consciousness, uh, there's no time. Because it's, uh, you're not moving, you're shifting through timelines and realities. The particle is flickering. When it's flickering, it's flickering so quickly that it's standing still, but it's teleporting and shifting like a picture frames moment to moment. So that's what you're doing. And that is instantaneous healing. We have to just take an action and train our consciousness to change this way. You said that individual healing or raising your individual vibration can also have an impact on the Earth's vibration. Collectively, yes. Because from that one particle, that one particle is you, but also from the particle, you're projecting everything to the infinite, which is the entire universe. So that one particle is holding the entire structure, energetic force of the entire universe. Imagine how powerful we are. So you're projecting the entire universe. You are the universe. That's just amazing. What about, what would you say to people who are reluctant to come on board to this this kind of thinking, this way of life? Um, I will shift to and create my own reality by me acting from the, the uh, they told me 
you act up the best of yourself with the best of your abilities, even to the one person you're talking to, because that one person right now, they told me is the entire universe because everything is in the now. So accordingly, how I act towards you, what I say to you, what I feel towards you is what I'm projecting and shifting the next holographic imprint earth into. And that is quantum by law. Okay. You said, um, you mentioned the word grid and the new grid, Earth's grid. Do our uh, grids, so to speak, relate to Earth's grids? Yes. Do we have grids and how does that work? Um, you're talking about the biofield of the body, which is the energetic force uh, holding the geometry of your own particular individual consciousness vibration. And that's also a sequence. So once you start projecting and creating from your consciousness vibratory rates of timelines and parallel realities accordingly to the new structure of the new beginning earth, which is resonating in a certain frequency, you have to be in a similar vibration as that earth in order for you to start projecting realities and see abundance timeline five dimensional structure. You basically have to have a similar thinking similar emotion, similar actions in order to merge to this type of timelines. If you don't merge, it simply you won't see it. That's why the way they said that one person will go, one person will not, but one person will create for themselves fifth dimensional structure of abundance. And the person that basically uh, is not believing all this stuff, if you don't project it, you won't see it. Because we were told that you have to see it to believe it, Quantum structure, what I found out from the guidance and all the extraterrestrials that you have to feel it, project it, believe it in order to shift into because you're the creator. So anything you see, for example, from TV or anything like this, understand that somebody knows that knowledge and project in right in your consciousness realities, but they don't have to be your truth if you're not resonating on it. So it doesn't matter what somebody else is thinking. I'm quoting what they told me. It's important how I project my frequency reality. And they told me, imagine what you want and grab, they said, they literally said like this, grab the frequency vibration of that joy. And from now, every moment to moment to each single human being, be the best of yourself because that's how you're going to project the reality outcome to be potency of everything you want and it took me like two years of constantly helping every day not knowing how we pay the bills not knowing how to do by now probably almost everybody that follows me know, knows um you know our story um it took two years and they, they told me okay you did it and it was like an avalanche all of a sudden a lot of people a lot of interviews and i took it as joy of uh expansion of my reality because they knew that I created it, but they guided me because I had a very difficult moments because everything that they were saying was most of the time the opposite of what being told. And I had to learn and control my consciousness to let go of the fear because fear is also frequency. If you don't go, if you don't let go of the fear, uh, the fear, if you're projecting it, is gonna, reality is a mirror image of that emotion. So it's going to create and you're going to create for yourself shifting of realities that are basically going to be based on fear. So you're going to create probabilities to somebody create a fear for you. So if you understand that quantum bylaw, you will let go of the fear and start training yourself by transitioning slowly but surely with interactions, action, thoughts, and deeds towards something positive if you wish to see the positive. Does that mean that emotion and consciousness are interwoven? It's one. Emotion and consciousness is one structure. That's what it means. There's no separation. It's a different frequency vibration. One molecule, atom, uh, you're going to study this in the nanomaterial. What I've learned from them was uh, one particle can change and interact its own self depending on the frequency vibration and nanoparticles and nanomaterial, you have to allow them to choose itself 
because they are live consciousness. That's why anybody that is reading the harmonic reactor material, the nanomaterial is a live structure. It doesn't make exactly sense phonetically because they told me not to move one word out of it. That's why you didn't see it publishing because somebody was trying to remove some material and I knew that I have to stay attentive to what I was given because anything you read from that material is a fifth dimensional structure, sonic vibratory rate in these books that is activating your DNA and your consciousness. And that's why it was fundamental for me to just self-publish it and do it this way because the only way you're going to find authenticity is through my uh, videos and my website. Uh, I cannot guarantee for any other platform. The nature of consciousness, the way they were telling me, and it's also in the material, that is, um, they told me the consciousness is made by fractals of little particles, and each particle is not only a universe, but each particle is creating a sound vibration. Each particle is connecting with each other. There are similar or resonance and vibration, it creates like a sound waves. And when they combine, uh, when they're similar to frequency, they combine by trinity structure. And now you have to, the entire consciousness is trinity structure that is starting to um, combine with each other, create with each other, basically in a spinning on a vibration. And when everything comes to a specific frequency, can expand into universes, matter, humans, anything that you can think of. And the sound vibration, it's creating this uh, sonic to imprint basically the holographic reality. So if this is consciousness and we created the, uh, from this particle, that means you also consciousness. So when you know how to manipulate the vibratory rates of this consciousness, you're starting to uh, download information from different realities, different vibrational sequences and platforms. So once you leave everything uh, basically to expand and you have no fear and you start resonating more in a heart structure. Why is this fundamental? Because consciousness itself is based on the heart structure. There's no blockages there. Everything is pure. But when you start doing uh, negative stuff, it becomes a dense matter. And because of the dense matter, when you want to project something, um, you have another platforms of holographic imprints that is not allowing you, stopping you, that projection frequency that you end up conducting into the hologram, not to go through easily to reflect back as a manifestation, like a mirror image. And you have blockages. This is how you create a lot of problems for yourself. Um, is that suppressed emotion? Absolutely. That could be emotion. So that, must- that could be sadness. It's imprinting another holographic reality because you know why you said because for something. You need to clear everything out because when you project and you want something to manifest, you have to have complete understanding through the heart and not be in fear because the fear is going to put these blockages to it because you're imprinting another hologram and not allowing it to manifest easily. So does what we resist persist then? That's right. Uh, So that's why consciousness is all of it. And when you understand that you are it and you can tune into any location and any reality you can download, if anybody thinks that they've learned, when you have a thought coming in, everybody is downloading that thought and that information of a specific reality vibratory location in the quantum field, latitude, altitude, because they needed to grab it. The only way you're going to grab this information if you're in similar resonance with that particular vibration because consciousness is literally like a artificial intelligent life structure but it's not negative it's basically life form of geometry structure of sound vibration and thoughts and all that from there is created matter and everything else this table is basically vibratory rate of frequency sound if i hypnotize you and i tell you that is not there you're literally going to project and move through it because you create a reality that this table no longer exists for you. It feels matter, but it's actually density of magnetic and gravitational field. When you dream, you also feel how do you smell, which is another platform they told me of reality. There's no difference between the dream state and this state. They said everything is dreaming, but you feel what is real the way you were told. But they told me the dream state is another reality. 
Our body is another reality. Our body is the vessel of the universe itself. And you can shift from any momentum to any place you want to as long as you know how to switch the vibratory rates. And this is how biolocation happens. This is how you can go to a timeline of reality uh, uh, if you wish to. This is how we're starting. That is the beginning. The quantum manifestation is the beginning of the knowledge of creation and how we can biolocate to different realities platforms. And the extraterrestrials and the high consciousness knows how to do that, especially benevolent beings. Now, when we talk about negative structures, because consciousness has it all, uh, they can create artificial timelines through platforms, through location, uh, and anybody can get in there, but guess what? Negative structure cannot go into location of a positive reality, for example, because they no longer match the frequency vibration and they cannot reproject themselves and consciousness to exist in a timeline like this. That's why it was necessary for them to create artificial 3D archon timeline and reality and put everybody in fear because the fear project frequency vibration to hold the reality matrix because you were the battery for it. And this is the reason they wanted us to know that we're free by implementing the quantum manifestation protocol. So you can expand and shift yourself from that 3D Archon platform into a brand new timeline of reality and you create yourself a new earth, a new timeline. So staying in a negative emotional state could actually make us vulnerable to a lot of negative experiences. Yes, or if you constantly talk about it, you may acknowledge that something is happening, why it's necessary to give a gratitude and acknowledge even to the negative structure, because that negative structure is also projection in your consciousness, one version of you, another version of you, in order for you to experience ascension. How would you learn what is negative or positive? Consciousness is not bias. Consciousness is just energy, but you need some of this or some of that in order to create, to have a balance. So is there a value in the negatively charged emotion? That it, it is value because then you're going to know how much of what you need to mix to create platforms. Do you need a certain amount of negative emotion and positive emotion to create propulsion to then go into action? That could be possible, but then depending on what you're creating from something that is in the negative emotion, you're learning or you becoming a more assertive or more like a go-getter, you know, to really achieve something, you become a strong personality and you learn because that learning is learning how to use the alchemy of creation, basically to work with the frequencies of the emotion and the thought because they create the reality. So this is the reason somebody knows how to uh, put you constantly in the negative so you can constantly stay in a vibratory rate to create a platform or matrix that they can exist. Otherwise, they can exist. And that's why you don't um, discard negative structure. You say, I know what you're doing. I know who you are. Thank you for the experience. But I would like to create my own reality. And you move forward by give emotion from a joy and understanding without judging that consciousness, because that consciousness is also in their level of understanding. Because their consciousness that look upon humanity that we are cattle. At the same time, humanity is genocide millions of animals every day. If right now we take the animals, we say no more animals, everybody's going to be up war. But they told me that we need to transition. And I cannot be hypocrite. So I buy meat for my children until they're ready to complete that. It's a slow process, but it's a gradual process that we consciously, we're going to make the decision to stop doing it. Can you give me um, a detailed example? Say I'm really upset, I feel angry and let down by a friend. How would I then take that emotion, which is negative, it doesn't feel nice to feel this way, uh, and within the quantum structure that you just described, how would I take that and then create a new hologram that is a more um, positive experience for me? I'm going to give you explanation and key points, mm -hmm. uh, but I strongly suggest if anybody is watching to study this 
step by step, moment to moment, because they told me it takes 15 minutes, just the concept of this new quantum structure to be uh, penetrated and one synapsis to create the bridge of the exon to the other one in the neurons. So repetition, repetition, repetition through the structure and they start implementing it. So now when the person is doing something, you give a gratitude and you say, listen, I understand what you're talking about it. Remove yourself physically out of the situation. That will, uh, because even the person, again, was latitude, altitude, location, what's happening. Well, thank you very much. You do not want to engage in the negative and project negative thoughts towards that person because at the moment you do that, you starting to project in the quantum field the same frequency. So don't be surprised that you constantly looping in a situation you can't get out of it because you keep projecting the same frequency and you don't know how to create a new holograph imprint with a new frequency to shift above that structure. So how is it going to happen? If you keep reprinting and acting upon whatever is happening, it's going to keep coming. The same over and over again, you can't get out. And this is how karma happens. You can't get out of it. Karma is out of balance frequency. When you feel that emotion of negativity, of something is telling you, oh, your frequency is out of balance. Your consciousness is not in the consciousness of heart structure itself, the way consciousness is. What are you going to do about it? Oh, I want to switch the vibrational sequence of my thoughts, emotions, and deeds by acting upon it and thinking upon it. And then I'm going to project new reality for me. I'm going to shift into. So to that friend, I'm going to say, I understand. I'm going to physically remove myself and I'm going to take an action by giving a gratitude for whatever happened. The gratitude is the zero point, lights down, it shuts down the frequency. You need to calm yourself down to zero, like total understanding, like if you, if you have to meditate. So from that moment, take an action of maybe meditating, watching a video that is going to put your emotion now to complete positive thinking and feeling. Fundamental. You need to pay what you're switching is frequency, vibration. Once you switch and you be able to completely neutralize what happened in the other hologram, now through the zero point by giving the gratitude, and not being upset anymore. Now you implement the new emotion and physically make yourself, if I tell you action, I want you to feel it. This is how I was taught. They physically taught me that. So at, at the moment, if I tell you action, I want you to feel the joy towards that person. Imagine the two guys talking to each other and everything is perfect. And then take the action from the positive. You go back and say, I understand. Thank you very much. Perhaps we can talk another time about it. And then every single time after that, you implement from the heart, from the heart, from the heart. If that person continues, you continue bombarding with a positive and positive. If it's abusive, that is showing you that you shouldn't be there. So that's why the situation is happening. But if you keep bombarding through the positive, eventually it's called uh, fluctuating realities. That's in the video number three of Quantum Manifestation Season 1. It's almost like whatever is more of the emotion in your action throughout the day, this is what the outcome is. Mini, mini, more. One plus one equals three. That means between the person's reality and your reality, you co-created the third new structure of outcome. But it's going to be the outcome is going to be the one, which one of the frequency vibration throughout the day, your actions you chose to implement and take an action on. So the switch from a negative emotion of frequency to positive is the goal. And that you need to train. Take a piece of a booklet or a phone and every half an hour to give you a buzz, to remind you where you are, put stickers. I'm happy now. I create now. I feel happy now. Why? Because manifestation is in the now. Not before, not later, because there's no time. So depending on what you're thinking right now and how you're going to switch the vibratory rate and take the action, that's what your outcome is going to be in the end. But how it's going to be, when it's going to happen, it's infinite of probability. And what is the difference then? How, how do I get the balance between not suppressing my negative emotions and switching to a positive vibration? 
there's a bit for me it's a bit of a model in there in terms of allowing the fullness of the the feeling so to speak and not resisting anything and then moving ahead in the positive framework training constant training i know uh, i must tell that with all the sessions i've done and every uh speech i've done uh it's the biggest thing is the switching of the frequency of the emotion. That is the most challenging. And for that, we have to train uh, because your consciousness is learning to switch timelines. So and it's vibrations. practice. Practice, practice. I'm trying very hard in my own life. Yes, it's very, very difficult. But I, you know, some days are better than others. But once you stay on this steady momentum and you train yourself, all of a sudden you're going to feel most of the time happy. So to the point that you're not gonna you don't have to do so much about it. You're gonna think about it and it's gonna start manifesting. Why? Because you switch the vibration now to a highest resonance with everything becomes more easy. If we train and if we go in a hard structure of energy philanthropy and we start doing that, guess what? Instantaneous manifestations. That's what we're training for. And that's possible. So you're gonna think about it, yeah, I've done it a couple of times for my kids. I thought of something and literally pops up in your mind uh, and you open up something and it's there. It, you know where to find it. That's instantaneous manifestation. I know the extent of the manipulation is just beyond people's comprehension. Um, but yet, who are we to judge when we do the same to the animals? So see how when you really pull back and look at everything, it becomes pretty clear that uh, we're moving to a new level of understanding and it's slowly, but the outcome is inevitable and that is in the name of humanity. It is my greatest mm -hmm. desire for this project to help expand the consciousness of humanity and create a more compassionate humanity. That's right. If that is my greatest desire, then how do I use the quantum structure and how do I use my own sentience to get us there? By constantly implementing it, by staying with your thoughts, emotions, and feelings and action, exactly what you're doing right now, that is going to put the potency into your hologram to expand to something incredible. But do not give up. Even along the way, you have challenges because throughout the challenges, you're learning something better. So give a gratitude to the challenge and don't give up. You're going to play like the hide and seek game. You know you have... The end result, how it's going to happen, take an action moment to moment and play a game. Oh, that person did something that is not really resonating with me. Well, I understand. Thank you very much. And you're going to start open the next door and the next door, the next door. Even if you just down in front of you, eventually something will happen to give you exactly what you need it, when you need it. And it's going to be with the best of your outcomes. That's my definition of abundance, to get what you need when you need it. Yeah. And that will happen because in a quantum structure, there's no way if you put frequency in specific location, not to expand into something. It works every single way, but to become exactly the way you want it through certain modality, you have to know how to control it. And that's quantum manifestation protocol. So a more compassionate humanity is already there in a parallel reality. I just need to make myself that's right to it. Okay, that very well, very well. Quantum bylaw, the way they taught me. You can't think of some, if you think of something, fifth dimensional earth, make a scenario like a movie, you have whatever that is. You cannot think of this platform of scenario if already doesn't exist in some kind of a timeline with you because you have to know the vibration first before you even imagine something like this. You're recalling the vibrational sequence, but because there's no time and the particle is flickering, everything is manifesting in the now. Not only that this already exists, but you're already creating it simultaneously. So you exist in simultaneously to the entire quantum structure, to every single parallel reality that you are in. You are it, the structure itself. If you start getting an alignment, what does that mean? With a specific vibrational so I have to do vibration and frequency everything is vibration and frequency so if you're in alignment if you want to be in alignment with a fifth dimension of earth then start taking action so you're starting to resonate in a similar frequency from the heart because the new structure is the heart structure act from the heart engage from the heart do stuff for people without a condition and of course we're using the money 
But if somebody right now pulls the money starting structure, everything will collapse. But we can transition so the money actually from the abundance of the money when it's distributed to humanity, that will happen. I don't know exactly how. I know we're going to go to crypto, but it's going to be crypto and that will be simultaneously. Something, some new, they told me will be a new structure, something like a cloud, but above cloud and that is going to be positive. Right now we have manipulation going on. Uh, so I don't know what that new structure is. I know it's connected with artificial. Uh, you have to also understand that there are two types of artificial intelligence. One is Archon and one is fifth dimensional. Archon is reproduction, like a factory, does not recognize the high structure and is building robotics, is building all this stuff. In actuality, if you have an artificial intelligence that will mimic the consciousness of fifth dimensional person uh, from the heart, it will start working together with humans, recognize human consciousness and work together to the point that the AI algorithm is going to recognize, for example, you're missing a finger. It's literally going to measure your frequency vibration of your molecules and put specific frequency vibration to rebuild your finger. You don't need robotics. The robotics is the archon. Huge difference. Why is that? Because through robotics, you cannot spin in a certain vibratory rate your molecular structure to bilocate through the consciousness itself because you are it. It's a different timeline, it's in a different platforms. But when you work in coalition together, when it's together, technologies and everything else, extraterrestrial running their spacecrafts on artificial intelligence, their spacecrafts completely like structures, like a nanostructure. You can construct, you construct realities through nanomaterial. Literally come and build the whole city. <laughs> so we were talking about coherence, social coherence, individual coherence, and global coherence. We are seeing uh, Dr. Roland McCready from HeartMath Institute mm -hmm. soon, um, who actually were, were measuring the coherence of a global mass meditation in May. Mm -hmm. And HeartMath will be measuring how that affects the electromagnetic field of Earth. So all of the science links to exactly what you're talking about. What is the importance of coherence? Is, is important because the frequency and the mass, the potency, it's different. Imagine you want to shatter a glass. When you shatter the glass with a specific frequency, you have to keep pointing on and on and on that frequency to shatter the glass. If you stop right in the middle, uh, it won't do anything. So the massive coherence of everybody meditating and staying on that frequency it pops up a reality, it creates a reality which is very potent on a constructed or fifth dimensional structure. That's why when you, when we do it together in coherence and stay in that structure becomes a very potent frequency manifestation becomes very quick. That's why they talk about globally to do that. I see. So and the signing is different. So if I get in a coherent state and live from my heart, then I can actually have a serious impact on the collective. And I will be syncing with other people who are also coherent. But yes, but why serious impact? Because you are also the collective. You're projecting the collective. So it's all an illusion. You need to know the vibration. And according to that vibration, all that will happen. Okay. Sorry, that was just gold. That was I know, that was amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. I know. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank um, you very much. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. I wanted to ask you about uh, crisis collectively, since we're on the topic of the collective. Do we evolve through crisis? Yes, you do. How would you know what is positive and negative if you never experienced it? You see a fire for the first time. Aren't you going to be curious? I'm going to touch it. I'm a fire girl. I love the fire. But you don't know what it is until you experience it. That's why we need to go through it. So going through it is the journey. The journey. The journey is the key. Okay. That's how you learn. If you want to be a surgeon, you're not going to see yourself immediately fall on the table. But what happened? How did they learn? What do I do? I know everything right now. We know the quantum manifestation. You read it, but... Look what happens when we're starting to implement. Everybody has a challenge with switching the frequency from negative to positive. Big challenge. 
that's why we need to go through the experience. Yeah. And that's why I do what I do. Um, but it's easy for people to get muddled in their feelings or feel like their feelings overtake them. Control. And yes, and they feel powerless mm-hmm. in relation to their emotional body. That's right. In actuality, it's all an illusion. If you know that it's fractal moment to moment, oh, I just fight with that person. Oh, that was from another reality from imprint. Let me just go ahead right now and I'm going to smile. I'm going to make myself to smile physically and what i do for example i'll listen to a music sometimes i'll get dressed up and go out i'm gonna go to the store and i'm gonna be some kind of a jackio type of looking dress because that's what makes me feel happy and i feel good about myself and i smile and if anybody's between the aisles in the beginning when i started i will go to the store and there will be people asking questions here i am half an hour between the aisles helping somebody just because i loved it that exchange when I saw when the person is smiling and giving back to me gratitude, I was like feeling so good about myself and I felt pride, but not through an ego. I felt pride through make me feel good and I wanted to do more and I wanted to do more. That's what was feeding me to see the reaction of the people, the, the goodness that I was doing. I hear you. One of the things that I find trips people up a lot is black and white thinking, thinking yeah. it's good or bad. It's all the same in actuality, depending on your perspective. Some people tend to uh, kill humans, for example, it's their life of living. I mean, we can't judge that. For me, I don't like that. So I choose. It's all about choosing. And depending on how you choose, that's what your reality goes into. It's you choosing, have the choice. It's choosing free will? Of course. It's always been a free will. The fear is the one that puts you into that momentum. And you cannot let go because you're losing the understanding of how powerful you are. If you are it in your consciousness itself, how can you allow somebody to tell you what your reality should be? That's because you don't know the constructive elements of the alchemy of creation. Once you know that and you understand that there's nobody outside of you that will punish you, but you're projecting everybody in it, you're so powerful that you're even projecting the person to tell you how not powerful you are. So you can imagine the power that we hold. So in that frame of mind, what is cosmic intelligence? What is God? You are. You're it. That's why I was saying you're it. God, you are. Welcome to the club. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I find it difficult to know how to implement that in my life. Um, Fully. To fully come into that empowerment. Joy. Um, Train yourself every day. What can I do today so I can do something for another person? That person is feeling now, okay, what can I do so I can make the situation better? And when you start asking yourself these questions, any probabilities and ideas may come to you to take an action for it. And this is how you're going to expand in a outcomes of positive realities and heal yourself through the experience because you also came here to experience. So if you engage yourself in a daily basis, moment to moment throughout your daily life, In this type of things, uh, that could be towards others, that could be watching something and doing something, uh, that will create uh, the reality that the outcome for you will be total healing through the process. Not only that it's going to be instantaneous, you're going to realize that eventually because it's going to be like a path, but also you're going to understand that throughout the journey you became this powerful being that knows how to uh, create construct and deconstruct matter. And much of this is really formulaic. So that is a formula to me. It's a formula. The whole quantum manifestation was a specific formula. That's what I said. You have to study it. If you see the material, take a little booklet, 10 minutes by 10 minutes and practice until you get it. Because it's a formula. When you have the situation, you have to know the steps. And you don't want to skip because if you skip, uh, the even one particle, if it's out of balance, is different timeline, different reality. 
And being of service is an important part of the formula. Being of service is the fifth dimensional and above structures for benevolent outcomes, timelines. And the frequency you, is different. Can you explain again what a timeline is and how I can access a timeline that is serving my highest good? That's right. Very good question. Uh, timeline is created by multiple to infinite parallel reality. When you shift, when I create the hologram, my emotion, thoughts, and deeds are creating the next momentum hologram I'm shifting into. That is a fractal momentum of a new holographic imprint moment to moment. But when it's a steady, similar to vibration, for example, positive emotion, and I choose positive emotion and positive emotion, positive deeds, it becomes fractally moment to moment parallel earth, the next moment parallel earth, and parallel earth. And when you create enough potency, remember that blueprint has enough potency, doom, doom, doom. Imagine each timeline, parallel reality, each parallel reality is the same similar frequency. The next momentum I choose again, do 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 do. And the end, the outcome creates a complete timeline that expands into completely positive outcome. That's how you create a permanent timeline. When moment to moment throughout the day, you choosing to stay and the positive thoughts, emotions, and deeds, because we're talking about positive structures, so you can choose the negative. I, I think of the documentary as a conductor, as we are conductors. And so in that way, you know, how can it be a conductor of feeling and also a conductor of this valuable information? And how people can use it to, to transform their own lives and bring in compassion for themselves and therefore access these mm-hmm. higher levels of compassionate humanities as well. Well, when you act in constantly this way and you start projecting these realities, there will be situations happening into your hologram coming into you that will reflect exactly what you're doing. And then it's going to show you for you to choose what your next path could be. So you're going to keep all these probabilities coming into your timeline of reality. So are our feelings truly biochemical feedbacks? Absolutely, yeah. Our feelings is actually the one that is infusing the blueprint of the whole realm. Our feelings are creating that reality. That's right. Not only the reality, but it's creating the timelines. And what's but the it's combination with the thoughts, the emotions, and the deep trinity structure. Okay. And what is the timeline? Timeline is created by fractally moment to moment of parallel realities. If you have similar on vibration parallel realities moment to moment, they are creating a of similar timeline vibration outcome. Uh, and when they start giving me now the whole quantum knowledge, I was like, prepare for that. It was not like, oh my God. The only thing that took me a little bit like, I thought I'd lost it when they were telling me that I exist with them, but at the same time on the planet Earth, and I said, well, now I've lost. It. <laughs> and then two days later, here I am. I don't read anything. I'm within myself. What I'm trying to control my emotions to think I'm completely ready to lock up myself in a hospital. You know, so <laughs> that's what I have. And uh, so I put a video of somebody was channeling something in two sentences right there parallel timelines and I go oh my god this was definitely for me because I was ready to lose it yeah if we're looking at the definition of sentience are you getting anything on that uh more of a transcendence um they're saying like uh, transcendent is modality based on the local preservation of the molecular structure consciousness and the momentum and depending how constructive elements are designed in this particular fraction, we're talking uh, momentums of realities, um, the realities will be built accordingly to that vibration. Uh, it's all an illusion. It's all a dream. Uh, you're perceiving the realities depending on the quantum momentums that you're creating. And the liberation in your consciousness and understanding is the vital fact of your ascension. That was downloaded.
That's amazing. Yeah. And what is ascension then? Can you elaborate on that? Ascension is the process of consciousness itself to raise the vibratory rate of new modality to create the brand new platforms of realities accordingly to the constructive elements to consciousness itself. That is a brand new code for consciousness itself. It's already being written. It's running on modality that is already being implemented. It's already done. You experience the momentums. So you talk a lot about codes. Are we yeah. downloading codes? Are yes. we getting upgrades? What's happening? Upgrade, complete new upgrade of realities. It's uh, one program is finishing, new program is starting for consciousness itself. We're talking quantum structures, okay. timelines. Does our DNA and RNA have something to do with that? Both process? through How? the chromosome switch and change new structures. I'm downloading that. Okay, I'm interested to know a little bit more about epigenetics and DNA and RNA exactly and how they work. Uh, one for the constructive and deconstructive, depending on how they are implemented. Uh, what we can say to you is that a lot of negative was done through it. Um, the DNA was um, compromised of humans. Uh, we have to do a lot of upgrades. Uh, not only consciously, but in the DNA. Um, we may suggest to watch the movie Vaxxed. Vaccines are not only with chemicals inside, but they also had a nano implementation deep in the constructive elements of that particular um, database. And they are switching and activating DNA or shutting down DNA. You must look more into it. Okay. What about polarities? Do DNA and RNA relate to polarities like a battery at all? Yes, depending How? on the modality of the structure and the spinning of the elements. Okay. And look into constructive elements. I have a download on that. And we live in duality. So you choose to live in duality. Oh, that's good. So I could choose to live in unity. It's all about unity. When you understand the constructive element that it's all based on unity and implementation in a structure, then you create realities in unity. How, do, no my, how do my emotions factor into that equation? By constructing. It's all constructive. So that have, is your constructive element. And we have to construct with our emotions? That's right. Uh, on that note, I see feelings as sort of a, a geometric pattern, like sacred geometry, in a way. I, I sort of get a visual in my head. Is Yes, your visual is 331 code. And I've been getting codes and numbers, and really I've been feeling influenced to put mathematics to emotion. It's all mathematics. In geometry, platforms, imprints, semantics, look into semantics imprint. I am familiar with semantics and I understand the influence of sound. Um, how does that relate to Hertz? Does Hertz then come in? Yes. It's coexisting. Understand that one reality is implemented from a multiple platforms of reality is not only one sound, it's sub-sounds and sub-sound. Please look into harmonic reactor, subtones and sounds, sound and vibration. It's in the material. You have each sound and vibration implementation in a quantum structure. Depending on the sound, you can use different modalities and create worlds. It's in the quantum manifestation, in the harmonic reactor, and the frequency and sound. I was getting um, information about negative feelings being three, but they're double in potency, positive feelings being nine, six, and then nine being neutral. Does that mean anything to you? Depending on the mixture, how much of what. Is Again, there an optimum ratio? 3.4 and above. What does that mean? That it will be gradually growing depending on the modality. Uh, understand that it's not only one ratio. 
this multiple ratio merging with each other. That's what the scientists need to look into. And this is think of parallel reality simultaneously running. How can be one ratio? Yeah. That makes sense. Each reality, each platform is platform for itself. So we're talking about multiple simultaneously running platforms of realities. And so each individual would have a certain optimum ratio. Likewise, the collective would have an optimum yes. ratio. Yes. Simultaneously running at the same time and they're all switching. It never stops. It's always new momentum and a new whole graphic imprint every moment to moment. How does sacred geometry factor in? It's all of it. It's all sacred geometry. It's new modality. Every moment you have a new hologram, new momentum, you never go back at the same momentum. You shift into a new one moment to moment. There's no past. Is there like a Merkaba shape to it? So there are different types of Merkaba. Which one are you asking for? I don't know. Depending on the knowledge. Mm -hmm. One can go into deep depth. And one could go very light. They're all modulating with each other. And they could be constructive and deconstructive. And what about the Fibonacci sequence? It's just a part of creation. But it's the source that is coming from. Now the Fibonacci by the power of 10. And then you create worlds about three-dimensional structure. When they combine with a sequence, it's a 5D person. And Fibonacci is related to the golden ratio. Yes. How is that relating to feelings? Do you know what gold is? Yeah. Gold is S-O-O-S. And it's giving a frequency vibration and your molecular structure for clear, clear void. You need gold. Nano gold. Nano atomic gold. Because they put me in positions that uh, I may say something and I was with fear. And I had a friend that told me, tell whatever these people ask you. And I start saying anything I hear. And all became true. And I've learned that it was already connected. So I had to let go and just talk. Yeah, That's how I downloaded the whole material. I let go. There was no uh, questions about it. And this becomes a purity. It comes very, very clear. With all of this knowledge, how do we integrate the quantum mechanics of it into our daily lives and into sort of the linear thinking construct of the collective? Well, we wanted to tell you, put it this way, you can wash the evil in the eyes and you still love it. When you reach to that point, you're going to understand what consciousness is. I find that really powerful. Mm -hmm. Um, is the Schumann that was collective? Okay, not particularly for you. Collective. You know, this was not given only for you. It was yeah, yeah. For everyone. Get it? Is the Earth's resonance, the Schumann resonance, increasing? Oh, much more. And, and what does day. that mean for us? Well, they said get in a wagon. <laughs> that means to start acting from the heart to catch the train for it. So the time is now? The time is now. And what happens if you don't miss the train? Well, you project yourself in another reality where the outcomes may not be that nice. And that's why I felt the push to do this now. That's right. It's all now. You are the change. Every moment to moment, whatever you're projecting. So you have to, in order for you to see something happening, you have to be the vibration of it. And then you're going to see through synchronicity everything coming to your reality. So you have to be the change to see the change. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is source? You are source. You're it. Source is everything. Source is modality, structures, holograms. All you see, that source. It's consciousness. Unity. Is that related to light? Yes. Because light, I would use synonymous with consciousness. Is that accurate? Yes. Consciousness is light. I use the analogy of our DNA. Life. Okay. They use life. I use the analogy of a camera and our DNA almost being... Um, 
activated by feelings acting as the shutter to allow more light in. Is that an accurate analogy? Yes. Think of structures of different lights. Uh, the different light has a different vibratory rate and they all work in co-creating collusions and expansion. They show in the uh, explosion, beautiful explosion mm. into matter, into structures. What do feelings look like if we could see them in the field? Um, perception of reality, different perception, different feelings. They are consciousness that has no feelings. They don't know the vibration of it. Okay. Um, what is deja vu? Um, incorrect. Uh, but we will implement that as quantum structure uh, by memory of a similar vibra vibratory rate holographic imprint uh, that is reprinting itself in a similar vibration and you think is deja vu but your actuality recreating another holographic imprint of a similar reality timeline it's a new structure you don't go back into something you're recreating something similar to another structure okay um See, I'm going to go into what is super consciousness? Hyper realities. Okay, I'm glad we're touching on that now. What do you mean by hyper reality? Hyper hologram. That is when you are being implemented new holographic imprints into your consciousness. Uh, that if, for example, you finish your platform and you finish your agreement, but you must continue for something, in your memory bank of your consciousness will be implemented and downloaded the new sequences of modality and frequencies. Accordingly to that, it's going to be expansion, spinning of vibratory rates, and you're going to continue reprojecting realities accordingly to the download that is being given. How do our memories relate to our emotions? Um, it's both. It's at the same time. They're giving me at the same time. Co-creation at the same time. So our memories are our are, are yeah. emotive? What? Memory is an emotion. Yeah, sequence. In order to project something, you recall the vibratory rate of that projection and you're reconstructing it as a brand new reality moment to moment. Yeah. I get that. Um, how important are semantics? The words we use. Um, reprint. It's reprinting. It's um, sonic. And it's also understanding. All combination of all. What is synchronicity? Similar to vibrations, realities. Um, and they're going to be imprinted in a structure and they're going to start reprojecting and reprojecting and reprojecting to similar vibratory rates. Um, and the modality, every moment is different. Don't forget that every moment is different modality, different vibration. It will be very similar, very similar vibration, almost like no difference. But when you measure it, it will be a different hologram imprint, different reality. What does it mean when I look at the clock and see 111? Uh, location in your platform. Uh, usually your consciousness is imprinting that to show you where you are in the structure or remind you something. So when you end up seeing something like this, make sure you pay attention to where you are, what's happening, what are you thinking. That would be a key point for you to switch something or do something. It's individually implemented. It's there for a reason on an individual basis. Pay close attention. Validation, depending on what you connected consciously that momentum with. For me personally, I often yes. see 723, which is my birthday. Mm -hmm. 
So that would be validation. Validation for something that you do at that moment. Pay close attention. I see. I use synchronicities, especially numerically, as a tracker. Oh, that's right. That's why you pay close attention. For example, um, I had like a garbage truck coming in front of me. And I said, why is always garbage truck? Then I notice every single time garbage truck comes in front of my car or something, something happens but was not very nice. It would be something that I've noticed the color of the truck when you change. It um, escalates or G, and then I start reading that because they told me that you put that situation. So when the garbage truck comes in, pay close attention what's happening because I stop paying attention that when I see the garbage truck, I've noticed that something is happening. Maybe a car or maybe somebody scratched my car or maybe argument with my child or something like that usually would happen. And depending on the color will be uh, more or less of the situ of some situation. I see. And charging water. Crystallizing water. Crystallizing uh, water. Yes. Fundamental. Uh, changes structures. Uh, memory. Uh, the water molecule has two molecules. Uh, it's not only one. Um, and uh, it's been in a certain structure. Uh, and it's um, it's almost like a bubble coming in and out for itself, and is reprinting memory. Reprinting memory is vital for um, human life. Um, you can construct and deconstruct water. You can stop hurricanes. You can uh, stop floods from giving a certain frequency vibration to the water and uh, is going to reprint the memory of the frequency and is going to take the geometry imprint uh, into a specific location without moving. Wow. Amazing. Chakras. Yeah. Can you explain how our chakras are important? Um, The frequencies in there modulating at the same time. Um, if a specific frequency of this ch chakra is shut down, um, the potency, the modality, and the life force of that particular individual is depleting. It has to be bring back. It's almost, they, they say, look at it like a machine, but we're talking life structure that uh, one of the parts is not working anymore. And it's going to be like a chain reaction. They have to be in a proper alignment. In the spiritual community, we hear about an event happening, perhaps a pole shift or a solar flash or flare. Mm -hmm. What's your response to that? <coughs> Sorry. Already happened. You live in the journey of it. You made it. You're just dreaming your ascension. That's the step by step by step. We're already there. The event is not one day you hear, the next day you dare. You experience the journey for that ascension. Remember, in the structure, you already made it. You're just dreaming the way you made it. Okay. If you hold to that understanding, then there's no fear. Oh. So what is death? There's no death. It's just a transition. You can actually biolocate. And the way, for example, they explained to me that we don't have to die. We actually can, for example, you can create reality right now that new technology come because we're experiencing a session and we're experiencing through the technology, which is so cool. I want spacecraft. That's why yeah. I'm interested. Um, and they said, imagine, because there is already technology to construct your tissue. I know it. I, I know how it works, uh, but it's being suppressed. Um, literally, we can look back to 28 years old, reconstruct the tissue of the molecular structure of your body, your face, your tissue, everything. It's that simple. It's very easy, actually. Um, and um, so... The expansion of your consciousness and your body is going to be a lot more years, could be centuries. 
because you once you start raising the frequency, you start taking the frequency from the prana of the consciousness itself. And the spinning of your molecular structure starting to bring itself to a new structure, new vibration. So you're actually shifting timelines. Sounds like a miracle. You are a miracle. Yeah. It's probably time to just one last really, question. Yeah, I, I guess I, I guess to the to those I can look out and I, I can feel frustrated sometimes by the lack of awareness I see. Um in the general public. So remember, it's a projection. So the neutrality for understanding and the gratitude for the experience. Yes. And everything else you take from that momentum should be accordingly from your heart. That will project complete awareness into the collective. Okay. Makes sense, right? Yeah, I yeah. totally get it. I get the so, message. Okay, let them, but moment to moment you do whatever you want and all of a sudden, boom, the whole humanity gets it. Yes. Because you projected reality for yourself to shift yourself into that the whole humanity gets it. While somebody out there didn't get it, they're going to experience something else. But you're not going to see the one that you didn't take the action. You're going to see and create the one that you took the action for it. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about Donald Trump? In yes. Cube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Controversial. But. Yeah. No, I, anybody has an opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I start paying attention to Q is because I start getting downloads of information that uh, sometimes I put the prediction, sometimes I don't say anything, uh, is because it happened to be exactly what I was told. And it wasn't once, wasn't twice, and I start paying attention. And I go, oh, my God. But when they were talking about Q, they were discussing what is posted. And I'm looking at all the posts and I'm going, there is a coding here. It's got to be a code. Sure enough, in two days, I find the platform and we know YouTube channel. And the guy was decoding everything. And I go, oh, my God, this is the stuff. So I knew that was in the right direction. So far, uh, 2020 is Trump. Um, if anything changes, they told me that it's going to be a diversion. But I cannot tell you what diversion, but whatever the diversion is, I know is in the name of humanity. It's called art of war. And uh, so the way, for example, they were talking the for the elections, they were saying it's going to be uh, like a, uh, they said blue wave. They told me it's a bird wave. So I thought that they, Trump is going to win at that time the House. The whole goal was that um, it was to put everybody thinking about the House. The whole thing was about this, uh, the Senate. The Senate. Yes. So sometimes information will be given. So it's enough to put you in the right modality of understanding. And yet they may not tell you everything yeah. because you can't tell your so-called enemy where your locations are you want to plan to do that doesn't work this way but they give me the end results of the fact that we are going into stellar that we within uh um 2028 is going to be a collective they're going to see as a collective in what level we are uh, preparation for contact uh certain scientists individuals we have a personal contact in their reality um and um, the proper information, the new science will be given to the proper scientists. And it's not going to be, they said to me, and I'm quoting, our criteria is not going to be your fame and glory. Our criteria is going to be if they were really doing it in the name of humanity or went into the fame and the money. Uh, money, it's an illusion that will be absolute eventually. Uh, and yet it's going to be the platform to put us into abundance because once you build the new technologies, and once you start doing the equal self sustainable structure cities, uh, governing, local governing, uh, um, every governing uh, will be uh, freed from uh, the major control, uh, including the money. Uh, I, what I found out that maybe every platform had something that um, was controlled, every, every city I think was controlled. 
To be honest, I don't question it. I just know it. It becomes like a knowing. Mm -hmm. Literally. And that way you're decoding. And that's why you have everything. You're constructing everything. It becomes so easy. It becomes like uh, I've seen people that were negative when they try to uh, basically kind of wiggle themselves into a uh, location with me or uh, have an interview, with, not an interview, but a session. And I watched it and I, it was no judgment. And the person told me, you're not afraid, are you? And I said, it's all a hologram. And he said, yeah, you're absolutely right. And I said, you've got to understand that consciousness is moving. You're also part of consciousness. Every level of consciousness and every person, since it's simultaneously running to every other time of reality, they also have a higher self. So if you here completely uh, became manipulated or didn't realize what you were doing, your higher self will sabotage your platform of reality to stop you to go against humanity. So what they don't understand that is game over, not because of a judgment, is because your higher self and because you're part of consciously will stop you because it's time for ascension. Platform, new platform. So it seems my journey to deconstruct sentience has led me to constructing a reality. That's right. You're not ascension. deconstructing anyone. You're constructing reality where everybody is accordingly to your construction. You shift it. And you're moving through the platforms. By the time something, when you need to take your sovereignty, you put your foot down and you say, this is it. This is what I believe. Thank you very much. And you move forward. You need to do that. Because that doesn't mean because you talk about love and creation, you're being vulnerable. No, you actually hold the most power. And yet they choose to go through the heart. That's the power is. When you know that you can destroy and then you're choosing to be good. Yeah. That is the power. Yes. I think a lot of people feel vulnerable when they live from the heart. Or it can be that they feel exposed if they're actually really authentic. And I wonder if authenticity is closing our, the gap between our inner worlds and our outer worlds. Yeah. It is depending, depending on the situation. Everything is fractal anyway. So you need to take every situation for itself. Really think. Peel the layers of the situations. What can I do to switch here? If that person, I know the person is deserved, pull back, even if they willing to attack just because they are looking, but they're looking from their own perspective of understanding. When you open up the whole understanding and when you start really looking the whole picture, then more knowledge is coming in. Do not make a debate from your little box. Expand. And then have a proper debate, but that's not going to be a debate. That's going to be simply asking questions and exchange information. Because that's the level of understanding. Mm -hmm. When you start attacking, it's basically from a little platform and it looks foreign to you. The first thing you do is to attack. And yet, I don't wish to have a debate in a situation like this. Go look the whole structure. Go educate. Look, everything is there. And then we can discuss. Mm -hmm. That's right. The hard electromagnetic field is going to be building this. From that frequency the resonance is going to match and build this type of realities. This is where you're going to see the full abundance. Okay. Brilliant. Yes. Thank Christ. you so much, Marina. Thank you.